Hello YouTube, this is Navalix 6 7 I'm bringing you a Common Rider review. Um, this just arrived in the mail today and I'm so excited to finally have this. Um, I've got another one that I want to do a review on, but he's not getting here until mid-October, early September. So that's a real shame. But uh, this is Kamen Rider Kick Hoppa from uh, Kamen Rider Kabuto, which is my favorite Kamen Rider series. You can find it on YouTube. Um, this is part of the SH Fig Arts line. Um, which I haven't earned yet, or I haven't, uh, I've only seen a couple reviews. This is the first one I've ever owned, though. Um, let's see, just, if you want to know what SH Figure Arts is, SH Figure Arts is a new standard figure series that incorporates the Bandai action figure art under the theme Pursuing Character Expression Through Humanoid Action. Um, it's kind of got this really cool, so the figure's all painted in this awesome kind of green color, and his bat box is black and white. Um... This, this guy's one of my favorite characters of all time, too, in the Kamen Rider series. Uh, and here's the back. Anyone who know, who's purchased Bandai figures knows that Bandai is great with box art. They're really good at posing their action figures to make them look the coolest. Um, it's obviously only available in Japan. I got this through Hobby Link Japan. Um, but these guys pop up all over eBay. Um, there's some on Amazon. But, uh, yeah, I got through Hobby Link Japan, um, hlj.com. I would go check them out. Um, if you're interested in Kamen Rider at all, go check out Toy Dude101's profile. Uh, he does do some Kamen Rider reviews. So go and check out his profile. Um, I'm all kind of excited. He's even got a little bowl of ramen in there, which if you watch the series, you get it. By the time he actually becomes his character, he likes ramen. But so, enough gushing over this. Let's get him out of the box. Alright guys, real quick. I just got... It's just remove one piece of tape and it comes out. No twisty ties. He is in double wrap plastic. Um, that little spark of red that you can kind of see on here. Um, yeah, I got a paper cut opening it. Um, I know, real smooth on my part. Um, ow, I'm bleeding. Um, but anyways, thought I'd try that really quick. Let me finish getting him out of package here. So here he is finally out of package. And he is all kinds of goodies goodies. Um, so he's got, this is Salt Ramen. Um, he eats this in the show when he finally becomes Kick Hopper. Um, but he actually comes with more accessories. He's got all kinds of fists. He's got two um, splayed open hands that are kind of attack looking ones. And he's got two hands that are kind of cupped like they could hold something. I wonder what that might be for. But uh, as for the figure itself, I cannot gloat about how cool this guy really is. I mean, here he is in a standard, I'm depressed, I'm such a loser um, stage. But um, when we really get him, this guy has got so much. First of all, look at the detail in, in the eyes here. That's double pane plastic. Because if you feel it, it's all smooth. But yet when you look in, you can see the bug eyes. And when he catches the light, it really glows. And they even gave him the little dot. For the red shoe system, um, watch the show. You'll understand what I'm talking about. It's got this awesome metallic finish. And he's plastic and metal. He's got a lot of metal in the legs. It makes him really sturdy. Um, as for joints, this is so poseable. He's actually got just, I mean, right here, there's two joints. There's a joint connecting the leg. Let's um, have full range of motion here. But then there's another joint that lets him twist that leg. Ooh, crotch shot. All right. He's got, I mean, just as far as you really want posability without starting to look ridiculous, this guy's got it. I mean, then the legs clip in there and they look good. He's got right here for his right up kick move. This thing comes up and then when he lands, he hits the enemy like that. And then this rebounces and it throws him back in the air. So if there's multiple enemies, he can just keep bouncing around with this finishing move. He's got his little hopper zector right here. He can easily, easily do a folded arms pose, which is great for the character. And his head looks down awesomely. I mean, but as far as the neck, though, there's two neck joints. There's a neck here and then another joint here. So he's got a great range of motion here. Uh, he's got some pretty solid waist articulation, too. It's nothing crazy. Like, he can't bend over halfway backwards, which is good because he's not supposed to. He's not a contortionist. Um, what just fell? He does have a loose kneecap. 
Um, it's part of the armor. It just snaps back in. I will be strengthening that later tonight, and it will be perfect. And that is such an easy fix that I do not care. Um, as for the arms, there is... So he's got a ball joint in the chest, like this. And then he's got another ball joint up here, so he's got super arm posability. Plus double elbows here, so he can really get elbows here. And then as for switching out the hands, they come out easy enough. Now, trying to get a hand in is just a little more difficult, only because this moves. So I do have a little bit of trouble. It does take a little bit of muscle, but that's okay. I like that. It means it's clipping in. And with this hand, I'm reciting the wrong uh, the wrong uh, common writer. Uh, this is Kick Hopper. But uh, this kind of semi splayed open hand. He cannot hold the ramen. Um, he actually can hold it. I got him doing it. But he doesn't hold it very well. I do acknowledge. That does kind of suck. But not enough. Considering that he doesn't actually eat the ramen. As Kick Hopper eats it as his humanoid self. Not in his superpower form. Um, but what is really cool. If we take out this hand. And give him his attack hand. Ah, clip in. He can sit here, and he can reach to his Zector. That's the little grasshopper thing right there, guys. His Zector. So, you can make it look like he's about to activate his Rider Kick. Um, as the figure goes, he gets a 10 out of 10. This is truly perfect. He's nice and sturdy, thanks to all the um, die-cast metal that he's got in his feet. It's mostly his feet. Um... And his shins are die cast, so he really stands ground really well. He's get, got all the right colors. I mean, really, no exception was spared. And this is why Bandai Japan rocks. And this is why Bandai America sucks. Because um, these Kamen Rider guys are all American-made. These are not Japanese imports. And they have, Bandai said that they're not doing um, imports. He only fell over because I changed the weight distribution here. But, uh, you know, this is a figure straight from Japan and rules. Um, price point might throw you off a little bit. Um, the average figure is $25, and you still have to pay shipping and handling. So, by the time it's all done, you're looking um, anywhere from a $30 to a $40 figure. Um, might throw you off. However, though, um, this guy is so cool. It is very, very much worth it if you do have the money. Um... This is my this is my first ten out of ten figure, um, and I'm really shocked. That kind of goes to this anti-hero, um, but I highly recommend these guys. This is SH Figure Arts, and as I said before, if you are remotely interested in Common Rider toys, Toy Dude One Hundred One's One's profile, I've got the link in the sidebar. Go check it out. And as for me, I'm Navalis Six Seven, and I'm signing out.